Okay, now let's connect the power to the LED screen. We have different types of power cables. We will be receiving a main power cable, this is the longest one, and on one ending we have the Edison connector. This will go connected directly to the wall or to the drop that you have. On the other ending we have a blue power cone that goes directly to the panel. Then from panel to panel we're going to be using blue to white connectors. And then to jump from one row to the other row we're going to be using white to white connectors. I'm going to be showing you exactly how it's done. Now, if you buy an IP65, an outdoor system, you're going to be also receiving this yellow to yellow. These are waterproof power con cables. So, let's connect this to the wall. And I will show you the connection between the panels. So, if you see, this is the out and this is the in. So, we're going to connect the main power cable right here. Like this. We have to twist it to give connection, this is gonna be locked right now. We have power because the LCD screen is on. If you don't, if you have a version of a panel without LCD, you will have a red light showing that. Now, the connection to the other panel, to daisy chain them, is gonna be white. Twist, and the same process. Twist right there. And you should see that this one is turning on too. Perfect. Now we need to jump rows. We have to go from the lower one to the next one. How do we do this? We do this with a um, white power cable. To that. And we have the same right here. And we just follow until we complete all the diagram of connection. Okay, now we're gonna connect the data cables to the LED screen. This is the main CAT6 cable that is coming from the video processor. I will show that on another video. And then we have the small cables to connect between the panels. As we can see, now we have power on the panels, but we don't have any signal because the little LCD screens are orange or red. If we connect the power, uh, sorry, the data right now, you're gonna see that the color of the little screen changes to blue. That means we are receiving signal. And as you can see on the reflection, we are also showing some image right now. We are going to do exactly the same as we did with the power, but with the data cables. We go from the first panel to the second one, and the color should change too. To jump from one row, one row to the other one, we do exactly the same. This one doesn't have any special color, so they are all the same. And we keep doing it with a um, full screen. Also, every time you buy a system, we're gonna send you some power and data diagrams of connection. Because not every screen will work with only one CAT6 cable. Sometimes you have to split the screen up to th two, three, or up to four uh, different sections. 